My name is Quinn Chamberlain. I work with uh, Montana Ghostwood Reskins in Missoula, Montana. Today we're going to show an install on how to install our quarter inch by five peel and press product, um, 25 square foot boxes, um, 10 year rated 3M tape. So we're going to get rolling, show you how to put this on the wall. One thing we're going to do is just check the height on this. We're going to start right on top of our trim there. We're going to check the overall height of our wall. We're doing a horizontal install today. And so with the material being in five inch increments, we just want to make sure that we're not going to land with a small little one inch rip or something. We can take part of it out of the bottom. In this case, it looks like we're going to wind up with a four and a half inch rip at the top. So we're going to start right off with a full board. Um, Remove your outlets, you already got that. This room you can see was a really light room, and so we opted to paint the wall black, just gives you a good background with the black material. Any kind of darker colors are good, but white for a background is just not a great choice if you got the option to paint black. So uh, we check our walls for plumb both directions. Our base is pretty flat, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out a little bit of material here to get started. All the boxes are going to be very similar in the fact that it's it's random material packing. Um, so I can just kind of lay it out a little bit, see what I'm working with for links all together. You know, we got some short pieces, some are dark, some are light. But you'll always start, it's just kind of like stacking books or anything else. We're going to start with a long piece and then just stair step our way back work our way across the wall. I like to just work left or right. So we're ready to go. Just take the 3M tape on the back. Peel her loose. Sometimes if you got somebody with you, pre-peel it off. Be a plan. If you have the option, start with an edge. Make sure you're butted up tight. Start your bottom with the piece tilted out. Once you're in tight to your side, flush on the bottom, just roll it forward. Just press it down on my hand. We're going to use a roller in a minute, but I like to get a couple pieces on and then roll it down. But same practice, each piece, and then once you got more of it on, you just take, put a little pressure with a roller. The roller should be easily available in any of your home stores nothing fancy and just applies a little pressure evenly sticks the glue now we're going to work our way back you never want to stack your seams we're going to work our way back just kind of see what's mid-length in our pack here once again kind of test fit make sure you like where your seams are going to be same process get it tucked into your edge bottom's nice and flush and tight get a few little edge imperfections you can often either take those out I kind of like some of it it leaves a little bit of a more of a old-school plank look to it but that's also the reason why we painted the wall black so you don't see through any gaps of that nature you don't see many of those but it does add some character okay so what we're gonna we're gonna cut around an outlet right here what we've taken all of our outlet covers off already basically the cut you're looking for is the existing one in your drywall or your back surface that you're already dealing with. So the easiest way to do it is just take your board, something that's going to make it past it, set it up, mark it right where your uh, drywall cut already exists. Black's a little tough to see, but so we have that. And just take a tape measure, measure off your bottom here. Same thing, we're coming up just below that screw right there. So I'm coming up four inches is the cut I'm looking for. So I'll come up, mark this four inches. And then with a simple square, I'll just mark my cut out. And there's any number of ways you can take your cut. Depends on what your level you're comfortable with. You can do a small hand saw, a jigsaw. Today we're gonna use a fine tool, which is just a vibrating saw, but we'll go down. We'll just cut this out. And I'll show you, we'll just slide it. Cut your outlet. We got a nice clean cut, it's gonna match where we're at. We're right underneath our screw right there. One of the main reasons 
I like to come right underneath my screw because your outlet's going to be a little bit shallow after you put the skins on. So you have to move it out. It's really simple. There's a screw at the top and the bottom. Generally not full of paint. And then when the skin goes in there, we'll just try and get that outlet right behind it. ready to finish our wall. Um, what we're going to do is you're always going to have some variance. You're going to get a little bit up and down in the wood product and then almost always you're going to get some variation in your ceiling. So what I like to do is take my take my board that I want to use each time to get an idea where it's going to land and then I'll take an average measurement of what it's going to take from there to finish. And so I'll measure it in a couple of spots. You can see it's not bad here. I'm off by a little less than an eighth of an inch. And so I'll take my average of those, taking into consideration my smallest measurement, and then we're gonna go rip this particular board to fit in this spot, and then we'll just continue this process across. Once in a while, you're gonna run into a situation like this. If you step back, the drywall ceiling here has a real severe bow in it, and it's, it's over three eighths of an inch. So if you're just trying to make a straight cut, that doesn't allow you to do so. So what I'm doing here, in this particular situation, I'm going to put, put my board up there, my plank up, even up the sides. And you can see I have like a 3 8 gap to zero. And then if I just take a simple, just a simple black magic marker, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it tight against my ceiling and I'll just trace that along there. You can see it goes, it takes a big cut, goes out to zero. A little hard again on the black, but you can see I just have a big dip that's got to come out of this board. And so what I'm going to do is I'll take that out on jigsaw and just cut that out with a jigsaw or a scroll saw, and then we'll have the pattern to match our ceiling exactly. So we'll be right back. When you're all done with your install, if you have any seams or anything like this, where you have some split outs and you just want to cover it up if it's shining a little bit, you can get the Ghostwood Touch Up Kit that goes with the skins. And just take a little artist brush and you just dab, dab a little bit of stain into, the, into your ends there. And just kind of, it's the same as the top coat on the material. Just kind of knocks the shine of the new wood down. Makes the blade down a little bit better. Real simple, easy final step to touching it up.